This is The Elegant Oxford with your host, Preston Soto. Hey everyone, welcome back. In today's video, I'm headed up to Tim's Shoe Repair in Temecula, California. Now I looked around and they were the only shoe repair shop, surprisingly, in my area of town. They're about an hour away, but they're the only in town uh, that does JR soles and brass triumph toe plates. Now for those who don't know what toe plates are, they're pieces of metal that go at the tips of the toes of your soles and they prevent premature wear. Okay, so I'm gonna head up there, meet owner Tim, his son John, uh, they're going to put some on my shoes, and then I'll discuss the importance of toe plates, uh, the difference between that and toe taps, uh, soul savers, and we'll discuss which option might be the best for you. So let's get started. Owner Tim and his son John have been doing this for a very long time, so it was a pleasure to meet these two talented cobblers sharing a family trade. I love visiting good old-fashioned shoe repair shops. There's nothing like it. Some cobblers are a very good resource for you to buy shoe trees, polishes, and other essentials locally as well if you don't like waiting for shipping. My father, it's Tim. Hi, Tim. How you doing? I'm Preston. Nice to meet you. Pleasure. Okay, now I know what you're thinking, so I don't want to see any comments about COVID-19. This video was filmed weeks ago before we all stopped shaking hands and uh, before California's stay-home order. Uh, so let's continue. Anyway, a customer came in. It turns out he was a fan of the Elegant Oxford, so we get a chance to chat and talk shoes. I always love running into fans in person. I'm also glad I caught John finishing up some pairs for a local member of the Allen Edmonds Enthusiast page on Facebook. It was totally awesome to run into him. Cameron was present at our local meetup we had in San Diego a couple of months ago. If you haven't seen the video, make sure to check it out. I left a link in the description of the video. His shoes came out great and were resold with only the best JR soles. Here's Cameron. Doesn't he look happy? Here they are. So, in two visits, John added brass triumph toe plates to three of my shoes. I'm going to alternate footage here between all three so you can see the process completely, and then I'll show you how they came out and discuss how they work. Now, in order to be properly installed, plates cannot simply be nailed on top of the sole. Doing so could cause your shoes to scratch floors or pull up carpet. A section of the sole must be meticulously cut out and removed so the plate fits flush with the rest of the shoe. It's a simple process, but I imagine it's not as easy as it looks, and if you carve too deeply, uh, you could cut through the welt, so only try this if you have the skill and know-how. JR soles are well made and are harder to cut into, so John was extra careful with my shell quartered in 5th streets. Afterward, the plates are held in place by small screws, which is a simple application, but since the plates are not built to fit every shoe perfectly in the front, the excess metal needs to be filed down to fit flush with the front of the toe. The process didn't take long and John did a great job. I'm happy with how they look. I ended up hanging out and had a great time with the guys. Tim and John were consummate professionals and I recommend them highly. If you're anywhere near Tim's shoe repair, make sure to stop on in and get your shoes worked on by them. You won't regret it. Okay, now that the shoes are home, I'm just going to give them a quick brush and a clean with Saphir and a tour, and I'll discuss the plates.
the plates came out perfect, flush to the sole and rounded off correctly so they don't stick out. Couldn't have asked for a better job, and I finally got plates for my Shell Cordovan 5th Streets. I've had these for months, but haven't even worn them since I didn't have access to plates, and I really want to take care of them. All in all, John did a great job, so here are the three shoes. Uh, they're all brand new, and I haven't worn them, and they're all by Allen Edmonds. So they are Strands and Walnut, 5th uh, Streets in sh Chili Shell Cordovan, and 5th Streets in Dark Brown. Now, here's why I really recommend toe plates. As you can see on these loafers, which have only been worn a couple of times, the soles look just fine, but the toe area is already starting to see premature wear. This area will inevitably wear down much faster than the rest of the sole, which may force you into a premature resole due only to the toe area wearing down. It's a common problem that I see on used shoes all the time. This happens naturally due to the way human beings walk. It doesn't happen to everyone, but it happens to most people. Now, let me demonstrate how this happens. When you walk, the heel of your shoe makes contact with the ground first, and then as your foot flexes, your toe area pushes off the ground, causing more wear than usual. Maybe it'll be a bit clearer with this sneaker I have here. As you can see, that heel makes contact first, then the foot flexes, and then you push off with your toe, causing that area to wear down quickly. Now, toe plates prevent all that from happening really well. They are good at taking damage so your toe area doesn't have to wear down so quickly. Toe plates may not be your only option, however. As I've discussed in a previous video, sole guards serve a similar purpose but are made of rubber and go over the entire front part of the shoe to prevent wear over the whole area generally. They work great, except some enthusiasts don't like them because they add about one fourth of an inch to the bottom of your shoe, causing the shoe to feel different in proportion to the heel. They are a great option, however. I really like them. Another option is the rubber plate. Same process as metal plates, except the cobbler adds a piece of rubber over the toe which fits flush with the entire sole. These work great as well if you don't like the look of metal, except they're not as common. Now, if you really want ultimate durability, you can have the entire shoe resold in day night. It's a full Goodyear welted rubber sole, and it's great for bad weather and good for traction. So that's another option for you as well. Now, I do not recommend the nail-on plastic toe tap you can find at Walmart or other local cobblers. I see them quite often and I suspect they're very popular, but I don't like them. They don't fit flush with the sole and I've seen them pull up carpet and scratch floors. Avoid these if you can, they aren't a good option in my opinion. You'd be surprised to learn that the idea behind the toe plate isn't new at all. It finds its humble beginning in the V-cleat or metal cleats you find on vintage shoes like these Floresham Imperials all the way back to the 60s. The idea was that this extra piece of metal would help reduce premature wear on the heel of the shoe, where most shoes wear down the fastest. In theory, they definitely work, I can attest to that personally, but I don't like them because they are so slippery. In some circles, they are called the suicide heel because you will slip on everything and anything and take a nasty fall. I know, because I've slipped and fallen a couple of times wearing these. So what do you think? Do you like metal toe plates? Or do you prefer other methods like sole guards, day nights? Or if you like nail on plastic toe taps, let me know. I love reading your comments, so sound off below. I answer every message personally. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you next time. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, subscribe, and share for more content in the future. Make sure to check out my other videos as well if you'd like to learn more about shining your shoes. Look for me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at The Elegant Oxford for more. Remember to care for your shoes so that they'll last you for years to come. Always put your best foot forward. The small details matter most, so don't forget to hashtag shine your shoes. I'll see you next time.